welcome to another program of functional English. How do you get out of a tricky linguistic situation? In the early 50s, an American general was addressing a platoon of Korean soldiers, in English of course, and the soldiers didn't know a word of English. So a translator helped the general do his job. The general, at some point of his address, told a joke which took about five minutes to complete. The translator, however, took just five seconds to translate it into Korean. And the moment he did that, the platoon burst out laughing. You know what he said in Korean to the soldiers? General cracked joke, laugh. So viewers, along with a bit of English, you need a bit of common sense too to successfully communicate with the rest of society. Friends, we have just 24 hours to ensure that our college annual day celebration goes smoothly. Do we all have schedule with us? Yes, yes we, we do. do. Good. Let's proceed then. The program begins at 5 sharp. One of us will have to leave to pick up our chief guest at 4 p.m. Anyway, our college principal has permitted us to use the college car. Ravi, it's your responsibility to, to pick up our chief guest. Take the car and remember to leave at 4 p.m. Don't delay. Don't worry, I will leave on time. What about flowers? Priya, tomorrow at 4 p.m. sharp, go to any florist at Secunderabad and pick up a bouquet. Be careful in selecting the bouquet for our chief guest. He loves roses. That's a good suggestion. That brings us now to Minakshi's job, comparing. Can we sit and talk about it? Yeah. Sure, why not? That's a good Let's idea. go. Are you ready with your script, Minakshi? We should have rehearsal before uh, we go on the stage. Yes, I am ready. When would you like to have the rehearsal? Let's do it this evening. How about photocopying your script because Miss Sharma wants to see it? Mrs. Sharma? You mean our English teacher? I've got to be careful now. Yes, I sh think you should be very, very careful. She is quite a terror, isn't she? Doesn't tolerate any kind of errors. Remember the day when I was late to the class by five minutes? She said, Always be in time to your class. <laughs> <laughs> but you must agree that she is very, very helpful. Now, let's get going. The next thing we have to worry about is stage arrangement. Ravi, you have arranged for the props, haven't you? Yes, I have. They'll be delivered tomorrow morning. Good. At what time? At 10 a.m. Okay. Be here at the auditorium at 9.45 sharp. We'll make a list of all that what we have hired. Also, it would be better if we request Sandeep to come here tomorrow, since he is the director of the play that we are going to stage tomorrow. Minakshi, tell Sandeep to be in the auditorium tomorrow at sharp 9.45. He must have a look at the props and tell the attendants where he is going to place. What about the welcome address and the vote of thanks? Whose responsibility is that? I thought it would be a good idea if Prashant can do it. After all, he is the president of the students' union. Okay, I will welcome the audience. Let's ask Ravi to propose a vote of thanks. Okay, I don't mind doing this. I think I have to thank everyone who has helped in the program. Don't do that. Thank the chief guest and the members of the board. That should do. What about all those students who have worked their night for this program? Thank them too. However, you need not mention their names. Just say, I thank all the students who helped make this event grand success. Prashant, who is going to look after the high tea? Priya is in charge of it. What have you planned, Priya? We will serve pineapple pastries, samosas, biscuits and tea. I have asked the canteen manager to have the food and tea ready by 4.30 p.m. Where will it be served? Oh God, I forgot to tell him all about it. Perhaps on our college lunch? Priya, we have less than 24 hours to start our program and you haven't yet decided the venue for the high tea? 
I am sorry, but don't worry, I will manage. Decide right away. Any suggestions? Why don't we have it on the lawn outside the auditorium? It would be very convenient, isn't it? Yes, that's a good idea. That's settled then. We will serve tea on the lawns outside the auditorium. Uh, Priya, you make all the necessary arrangements. Sure, I will make all the arrangements. Don't forget the tables. Tables? What for? What do you mean for what? For the tea and food, of course. Pia, I suggest you write down everything you have to do. Yes, I must make a list of all the things that I have to do. Mention the exact venue, visit the venue along with the canteen manager, arrange for the tables and make uh, the canteen manager do the necessary arrangements. Do you think I have left out anything? No, I don't think so. Well then, shall we call it a day? We meet tomorrow morning at sharp 8. We have to do a lot tomorrow. Rest well tonight. Yeah, yeah, Ronald Regan, we will. Ronald Regan? Why did you call Prashant Ronald Regan? Because it was Ronald Regan who said, a president doesn't work, he only delegates. So Prashant Regan, we are all ready for tomorrow. Thank you, Mr.